Hi, my name is Olga Rojas and this is Live and Wear and Eat channel. Today I'm going to share with you five easy, affordable steps to build your sustainable wardrobe without spending a dollar. So if you clicked on this video, then probably you're looking to switch to a sustainable wardrobe, a wardrobe that is created in a thoughtful way. But where do you start? Recently I was asked what advice I would give to someone who is just starting to build a sustainable wardrobe. Thinking of what I would tell myself a year ago that would save myself a lot of time and frustration actually inspired me to make this video. From the very beginning I want to let you know guys that there is no a shortcut to a sustainable lifestyle. But I'm going to share with you today five easy affordable steps to start your sustainable wardrobe. So the first first thing you need to do is to streamline your wardrobe by separating all the clothes you own into four piles. Pile number one is the clothes you love, pile number two the clothes you may wear again, pile number three clothes you prefer if they fit better and finally pile number four clothing you won't wear again. So after creating piles keep the first two in your wardrobe and put the other two on the side. Give yourself a two-week deadline to decide whether you want to keep items or you're gonna find a new home for them. In my case I needed a drastic change because I'm a stay-at-home mom and my lifestyle as well as my body changed a lot past three years. So when I was looking in my closet, I realized I didn't even have a basic white t-shirt. And what I had is the most of my closet looked like a Halloween costume department store because there were so many short, tight, colorful dresses, a lot of blouses that were impossible to mix and match. So here I was with four piles of clothing, had no idea what to do and I felt a little like, frustrated, so I feel you how it's being there. But take a deep breath and let's start. So after I completed the step number one by separating all my clothes into four piles, step number two is gonna be manage your clothing rather than disposing them. So pile number one and pile number two went back to my hangers. As for pile number four are the clothes that I knew I would no longer use if they were not in condition to be no donated, gifted or to be sold. What I did, I was trying just to repurpose the clothes. So for example, out of the old shirt, you can cut it into cleaning rugs or you can make actually like reusable food packages or something else. There are so many DIY projects on Pinterest or YouTube. As for pile three, before I actually put away those clothes, I took really nice pictures of it and listed them on my Poshmark app. Yes, it takes some time to sell, but it does work. So the funds you receive from sales you're actually gonna use for the next step, the step number three. And step number three is filling in the gaps. I feel like this is the most exciting part of starting your sustainable wardrobe, but here is the most difficult part too, because this is the part that will need most of your patience. So I went on Pinterest and Instagram, I got really inspired and I found this amazing sheet with the capsule wardrobe essentials. I chose my color palette to stick to as well as I analyzed my lifestyle. So I made a checklist with all missing essential items. Meanwhile, I was doing all the analysis and my lifestyle observation, my Poshmark sales started to pop up. So I finally got some funds to reinvest into good quality sustainable wardrobe pieces. And here comes step number four, learning how to shop sustainably ethically. So you will definitely need to make a research on your own on ethical brands. My congratulations to you, you're in the right place. My channel is gonna help you with that. What I did, I started slowly filling in the gaps in my capsule wardrobe uh, by buying on Poshmark. The biggest thing you need to remember is that every time you buy something, 
think if you will wear it for a minimum of 30 times. That's my golden rule. If your answer is yes, then go for it, buy it. You'll be surprised how many times you say no. And finally, step number five, take a good care of your garments. That's very boring one, I know, but it's an important step to maintain your sustainable wardrobe. I was the worst at taking care of my clothes. I never cared to read instructions. You know why? Because I didn't give any value to my cheap, poorly made clothes. Every time I got something and I needed to wash it, I felt like, whatever, if something happens, I'm just gonna get a new one. But after I started actually investing into good quality pieces, I started to read the instructions and most important, I started to follow them because I felt like, okay, I invested a hundred dollars to a new shirt. So why would I waste it hundred dollars by wearing the shirt just once so now I'm doing my best to care for my beloved garments so here you have it five easy affordable steps to start your sustainable wardrobe I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give us big thumbs up it always shows so much love and support and yes I'll see you in the next videos bye